So one of the most common advices that I see in regards to diet and acne is that you should consume sauerkraut, kimchi and other fermented vegetables in order to get those probiotic bacteria that are supposed to be beneficial for your gut health and thereby your skin. Now is that a good advice or maybe not such a good one? Well, the probiotic part is a good advice and there are indeed studies showing that certain probiotic strains can improve acne and there's uh, there are different theories why that might be the case. Now those probiotic bacteria might, might bind uh, toxins in our gut, they might um, change our gut flora so we have a reduced production of those endotoxins, those toxins produced by certain bacteria strains in our gut. Um, and they might improve the gut lining, the, you could sort of imagine, the isolation between the um, inner, uh, the, the contents of the intestine, and then our, our body, our cells, our blood system, etc. When this um, barrier is damaged, it um, facilitates the, the um, movement of toxins from the gut into our system and thereby uh, increasing inflammatory processes and so on. And also some probiotic strains can reduce those uh, effects. And so the thinking goes maybe that is why some studies have shown effect, pro, a positive effects of probiotics on acne. Well, I guess it's settled with that. We all go and have our sauerkraut for dinner. Not quite. So even though sauerkraut, kimchi and all those fermented vegetables are very rich in um, certain probiotic strains, they also have been associated again and again with increased risk of gastric cancer, of stomach cancer. Now, just because something correlates doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually causal. So you, you don't always uh, want to jump to a conclusion too quickly. But in this case, the correlation is so consistent and so strong that this is indeed quite worrisome. And so researcher, researchers try to figure out why that might be the case. How could it be that this as, as such a healthy food, uh, regarded as such a healthy food, could cause such an increase in stomach cancer. And so there are a few theories why that might be the case. Um, the most plausible, in my opinion, is that when you have this fermentation process uh, in the, the making of sauerkraut, kimchi, etc., um, you can't very tightly control which bacteria grow and what uh, their metabolism produces. And so uh, it has been shown that in those fermented vegetables, you, besides many positive substances, you also find nitrosamines, which are known cancer-causing substances that, for example, are also found in processed meat products. And so and we believe that those nitrosamines, which are a byproduct of the fermentation, might in fact be the cause for the drastically increased uh, rates of, of stomach cancer. Now, fresh vegetables um, are always associated with a decreased risk, um, even in the same study. So it seems reasonable to assume that, especially when it comes to stomach health, the fresh vegetables are the much better choice. Um, but obviously, we want to get those probiotics as well. Uh, so what might a comp uh, compromise look like here? Now, first off, it's already a good idea to just feed the existing good gut bacteria that we have. And we do, those, uh, we do that with prebiotics, which are uh, fibers that we find naturally in whole plant foods. So if you eat your vegetables, if you eat your whole grains and your legumes, you automatically feed your good gut bacteria, which can improve um, the gut, gut flora composition. Now, if we want to enrich it with certain strains or want to use certain strains to uh, improve our acne, I would recommend using probiotics simply because those um, natural sources like sauerkraut have this very real risk attached to it. Now, this is another example to show that natural is not always better. We talked about the appeal to nature fallacy in the sweetener series where 
we talked about uh, how natural sweeteners such as maple syrup, rice syrup, agave nectar, etc. are not necessarily any better than the regular white refined sugar. And same is true here. Even though sauerkraut has a, and other fermented vegetables, of course, have a long tradition and have been used for a long time and have in, uh, in the common idea always been associated with, with health benefits, modern science shows there are actually some real problems associated with it. So shoes probiotics. Now, the research is still quite limited. Even though some strains have been shown to have benefits, um, it, it doesn't seem reasonable to assume that those are the only ones. It's more so that those are the only ones that have been tested. And so I would recommend just using probiotics with a large variety of strains, a large number of uh, colony forming units. So just a no large number of, of uh, bacteria in there. And then, um, yeah, have a fiber rich diet to then also give those bacteria uh, something to digest, something to grow on. And I think that is the most um, effective choice here. Now, it stands to um, be analyzed in the future whether perhaps those bacteria can also be obtained from, from fresh vegetables. Now, you see, when you make sauerkraut or kimchi, you don't necessar necessarily at a starting culture. You don't add bacteria, but those bacteria are always already on the surface of the vegetables. So it might also be possible that just the large consumption of perhaps also raw, that this is purely spec speculative, but having a certain amount of raw vegetable um, in your diet, which still contains those living bacteria on the surface, might be beneficial. Again, purely speculative, but it's certainly another reason to include large amounts of vegetables, um, perhaps also uh, a portion of that raw. Um, obviously, you still want to rinse it. Um, you, won't, you won't wash off all the bacteria, don't worry about it, uh, but you want to get rid of um, some of the pesticides if you have non-organic um, produce and some of the dirt, of course. And with that, um, I hope you enjoy your next dinner without sauerkraut and maybe rather have some probiotics afterwards, even though they're not as natural and as traditional. They are the better choice for all that we know. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.